man. You always put me on the spot, man. I don't know, man. Doing it up there. Though. <laughs> we're doing it up there. My eyes are full of It was uh, pretty gnarly, honestly. The last lap, there was like a monsoon. There was rivers running down all the hills. It was pretty slippery, but it was all right. The year went quick. Um, had a lot of winds, and uh, yeah, I'm stoked. Stella season. Well, I just crawled out of the camper, been over, had to go take a shower, about to freeze to death after I got stuck in the rain earlier out here, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's going to be an interesting day. I think the track will be uh, pretty straightforward, just, just a muddy race, not a lot of deep holes, just, uh, I don't know, it should be interesting. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, though, I'd, I'd rather it be raining than not, because if it stops raining, those rocks are going to get really slimy and slippery, so, uh. Yeah, if it, if it keeps doing what it's doing, I'd be I'd be happy with that. This is off-road racing, bro. <laughs> it is what it is. We just show up and race. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Yeah, simple as that. Let's get it. Uh, it was time to grow up a little bit, so we threw the razors out. We're just we're just growing out the beard now. Obviously, the uh, the conditions are, are pretty gnarly, so we'll see how it is. Ah oh, man, you always put me on the spot, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Stu's hard to beat when he's having fun. It seems like he's been having a lot of fun, so. Um, yeah, man, I'm gonna probably have to go with Stu, I'd say, so, yeah, man, I don't know. Uh, bike? Yep, see? I knew it. I called it. Bike. Bike, crash, stuck. Bike, crash, stuck. Or Bub, yeah. Or Vicky? Or Grant? Yeah.
shot if you make this. No way. I doubt it's going to refire. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely. I lost my brakes there with three laps to go. I was extremely flustered and little prolonged goggle stop. Then decided that I wanted to pin it down for a row, forgetting that my front brakes were still gone. Blew the banner. I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, it was uh, it, it was intense. I mean, trying to push that hard in ruts when you when you need that front front brake, that front brake allows that front tire to dive and stay at the base of stuff. So the front end's trying to come up. Had to adapt there a bit and made some mistakes. Had some big crashes and. Uh, you know, it, it was it was uh, it was one of those days I, I had to work for it. But man, to do it without fronts and everybody, I'm sure, was losing the rears. I was there was a lot of downhills that last lap where I was just praying that that we were going to make the next turn. But um, able to hold it off, and man, it was it was a hell of a race. That's a that's a fun fun battle. It's it's obviously more comfortable when you got a lead, but man, it's it's enjoyable to battle like that. Yeah. Where were you going right there? Up around the right? The last lap, I went way outside. I was doing the outside line. Really? Ricky got hung up in that. That's why I was going inside. Because when Ricky was leading... I was doing the outside line. Oh. That was brutal. I guess it was fun, but at the same time, it's, it was tough, man. That was... Uh, that track got a lot worse than what I really anticipated. I did not expect it to fall away that quick. And it was like Georgia, just kind of like a free-for-all, man. Just cross rutting, ruts everywhere, and places where you couldn't go and places where you could. So, uh, some spots, some spots. It was nasty, man. That was, uh, you don't do types of races like this very often, so. I guess when you have them, it's good practice, but at the same time, it's a race, so it's like, it's not really practice time, so. Um, but man, that was, that was, uh, that was tough, man. The last lap, we were back and forth. And it's frustrating, because I had a really good race, but I ended up second to the guy that I needed to beat, so. Not taking that very well, I guess, so. But it is what it is. Yeah, I lost the rear, but I had fronts. And then the last lap I lost fronts. So it was alright. I just downshifted. Yeah, okay, that's all I was doing. Right first gear. Like, yeah. Sketchy. No, I won last long downhill down the uh, the ski road. Yeah. The kickers. And that made a hard right long. Well, that one was hard. Yeah. Dude, I got passed by Liam and uh, reared him going down that last lap. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, my bike was doing this thing. If I let off, it would die. So like on downhills, I'm trying to let off because I got no brakes, and it was dying. And BK was like all over me. Down crash, right? Oh, it's, dude, it was chaos right there. Lappers everywhere, and it was deep. And... I did that on like two or three downhills. The bike just died, and the rear wheel just locked up, and then you're just sliding sideways down the hill. Sketchy. Dude, if thank God it rained in the middle. Because if it didn't, it would have got so tacky. And... It was all right. We were uh, kind of like last year, got in the lead, got a little cushion, but then Stu was hard charging. I, I was just. I couldn't see very good, and I threw the goggles, and I actually was able to pull them a little bit. Came in pits about halfway, and uh, stayed in the lead. But when I 
hit auxiliary over there. It was like ice. I spun around backwards. It was on my head before I knew it. And then Stu and uh, Craig got around me. I tried to charge to uh, get back to them and just kept making mistakes trying to charge. So lost a lot of time to them and ended up losing some brakes towards the end and was kind of trying to bring it in to hold on to third because BK was coming and he was pushing me hard. So I was happy to hold on to third. Hey, first one ever. It feels good. <laughs> Yeah. Talk me through your race. How did it go? Uh, really good. I led from start to finish. You know, I got the whole shot, and uh, I didn't make it long. And Liam passed me there, and I, uh, I kind of just settled in behind him and was riding pretty good. And uh, we was carrying a good pace, and then uh, all of a sudden he just hit a hole and sunk it to the, you know, sunk it. So uh, I got around him. And, uh, once I got around him, I just I called XC1 and uh, I was able to ride with those guys all day and uh, pretty much and just followed those their lines up until about the last lap and uh, yeah, it was you know real good race. Uh, it feels really good. Uh, you know we've been really close uh, a lot this year and uh, to finally get it done and uh, you know lead from start to finish like that is a big deal. So uh, just happy that everybody's sticking behind me and the whole team that uh, is there to support me. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I appreciate you back there. Grant Davis, he found his way here. Maybe. Hey, we're popping bottles. There it was. He made you wait on it. The champagne spraying out here at the Mountaineer GNCC. Put your hands together for your XC2 podium here from the Mountaineer GNCC. What a race it was. A historic.